facility tour with the guide, Joe Galbraith. <laughs> so as you can see, we're getting ready for the event, but uh, it's a serving kitchen back there. They'll have occasional meals in here. Uh, we'll have staff, uh, athletic department staff functions on occasion in here. Um, obviously the balcony that overlooks the new turf field. Uh, one of the things you'll notice throughout the building are the monitors. Each of the monitors is connected to an internal server that coaches and uh, administrators can push messages through. So when you walk through here during the, during the fall, you'll probably see on those front monitors when we walked in what today's schedule is, what, uh, what practice schedule is, what, uh, any kind of information that they want to push to the players and, and to everybody. And you'll see in the locker room there's a bunch of monitors as well. They can send it to any TV that they want, so uh, it's a neat little feature. And if Wi-Fi causes cancer, we're all going to die real soon. Wi-Fi. <laughs> I mean, everywhere. Nice. Yeah, I have no idea. Like those antennas up on the wall. Like, what? What does that do? Yeah, like every like <laughs> two o'clock every day, the thirty seconds of hate or whatever will be broadcast through. It could be. Who knows? That's what it looks like. That's what we have hanging from our uh, hey, brother roof. Hey, hey, look who's doing this. Yeah. How are y'all? Yeah. We're asking. Uh, yeah, there's one. Yeah, we just did the. We just started. So. I have no idea what rooms have automatic lights and which don't. So you just walk into rooms and wave your hands and look like an idiot, and then it's a switch. Uh, so this is obviously cardio room. Uh, it's open to staff and uh, anybody that wants to come up here. Uh, the Jacob's Ladder is probably the most unfun thing in here, I would imagine. It's just a never-ending ladder. Uh, wow. <laughs> and it can tilt a little bit if it's uh, yeah. It's uh, and this is the most intense treadmill I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> this looks like a tank tires or something. Nice. Right. It's it's serious. Um, but anyway, it, by moving the cardio up here, it gets it out of the way of everything that's going on down there. There's different groups that come up here. And, uh, and work out while other things are going on down there. Obviously down here you have strength coaches offices and a conference room. So we'll go down into the, the weight room as we continue on. Kind of see. Here normally they have an order taper if you walk through the store business. Correct. <laughs> yeah, we've, uh, we've deactivated it for the day. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is one of my, my favorite graphics in here. I just like the way that that looks. They did a good job with the backlit. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. I just figured they did the old school MIB thing once we left. Like, <laughs> this is what you do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pop in on a meeting room. A meeting room is a meeting room is a meeting room. Right. Yeah. Uh, so we're we're back to the, the FEMA threes is my breakdown method. Everything to the left up here is going to be meeting rooms. Everything in the middle is support staff, and everything on the right is coaches' offices. So as we walk through, you can kind of see the flow of threes again. Yeah. in this building because you never know which ones are <laughs> flip a switch and which ones you have to wave your arm. A meeting room, uh, basically at least one wall in each room is the dry erase wallpaper that they can write directly on the walls So uh, and projector and just position meeting rooms. And they go all the way around that back hallway there. 
So if state ever recruits a five-year-old, they're golden. <laughs> What's that? So I'll have my house set up. <laughs> Chairs yet, like the last place. Yeah, I know. I was about to say this is a little nicer. <laughs> I would think it's three and four. It's uh, extremely comfortable chairs, too. Lots of leg room between them. So, like an offensive lineman row, double XL chairs? <laughs> they're, all, they're all built to fit the biggest. Um, 168 seats in here. Uh, dual drop down screens. Everything in here is automated, and there's a little control panel up there. You can join the rooms together or keep them separate. There's a soundproof wall, and as you can tell, this is all that uh, you know, echo-proof. Um, oh, what's the right word? Reinforced. No, the. Uh, anyway. Good acoustics. Uh, huh? Good acoustics. Acoustics. Yes. yes, it's the acoustic wall. Uh, this is a removable wall that will come down the middle. The side that you're standing on right now is the defensive side of the room. This side is the offensive side of the room. So when there are team meetings that break into offense and defense, you have a team meeting, you move the podium out of the way, you drag the wall, you can't hear what's going on on either side, and both screens drop down and you can change from it showing the same thing to different. So uh, a little bit more functional than, uh, than we had before. And Assuming all the seats work too? Yes, <laughs> all the seats work. <laughs> Nice. Which room is this? This is the conference staff room. This is the full okay. staff workroom. Um, that is a movable wall. That's all dry erase board behind that. I was about to say, this looks like the room where it's like, do we want to blow up Pakistan? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the <laughs> apprentice was around in this room. It's very situation room feeling. There's no hey, doubt. Step into my office. <laughs> <laughs> but everything's controlled from this, just like in most in most of the rooms. That just got a control panel. You can turn on the lights. You can turn them on bright. Turn on the medium. Damn, that's a second room. But uh, you know, whether you're watching film, you can turn it down and. Um, cool. Yeah, that's all dry erase back behind that wall, but slots out of the way. So. <laughs> That's a big TV. Yeah. But actually, we'll go out this way so we can walk by the video room. <laughs> nice. And will be slept on, trust me. So this is Brock Delaney's office, video coordination. <coughs> As you can see, every one of those monitors, just like downstairs, uh, all the monitors throughout the building are connected to the internal server. So if there's a message that they want to send to the players in any room that, are, that there are monitors, you'll be able to see you know, what we're wearing today, what the schedule is, whatever. They kind of coordinate that from up here, and obviously all the film and stuff. Just make sure you can't read whatever's on that screen, because I don't know what they're scouting. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Hey, oh, this is the uh, head coach's office. It really seems a little smaller than his last one. It is a, a hair smaller, but, uh, but it's still large. Still very nice. Office. Nice chair. Well, Dan 
men's rooms. But that's just TV, and then from up there you can see there's a drop-down screen where he watches film. So, oh, nice. but he can put it up on the TV as well. But it's an office. It's a nice one. It's a nice office. I'm reading the fourth star. You got all here with you. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see the crew come wandering by. <laughs> How's it going, John? Good. Yeah, always. <laughs> Offensive conference room, exactly like the defensive conference room, except for the O's instead of the X's. They get to run on the walls, too? Yep. Oh, yeah. They got all the walls working. Where the real work happens? What are you guys listening to? <laughs> nice. <laughs> so. the GA's grinding away. <laughs> nice. Uh, Collins, that'll be Les's office. Hey, so ladies. And this is kind of the recruiting hub. You got Rocky and Neil and Lee and the student assistants in the in the center area there. Cool. Then each of the coaches' offices look out to the new turf field and. They forgot the name on that one. Yeah, they did. So uh, this is the main <laughs> entryway to the locker room. Uh, what you have down here is coaches and staff locker rooms on the left and then player's locker room, and then the equipment room behind it. So we'll take a walk through all those areas. Kickers and punters. directly to the players' lounge, which we'll go into, and then walk straight into the, uh, the training room. And that side is the pass-through lockers and the equipment room. Mask. You know, we got all our hardware right here, so it makes it a little bit easier on us. We've got, you know, our screwdriver, so, you know, we need to change something out on the helmets. All we have to do is just take screwdriver out, whatever we need, and then turn around. We got all our equipment right here, so it's a lot more uh, efficient for us. So, and again, like I said, you know, we got our loading dock right here. 18 wheelers just going to back up right there. We roll our stuff right out, and we get to run. It's something. Yeah. I did Joe's release with the wings and grand up to like the cutting edge. Benjamin. Yeah, I, I just went and was closing at 10. And I finished it at 9.59. And I texted him and I said, you need to send me back. So you'll see throughout the in a couple places in here, we've got exam rooms, doctor's offices for. Then. So can you 
pretty much do anything on site here now, or do you still have to go to Columbus or something? Oh, no, it's not a surgery facility. Oh. It's just, I mean, those are exam like rooms and just doctor's checkups and see oh, okay. how progress. They've got an, uh, a fluoroscope, x ray type machine, okay. and, and things like that. Say like an MRI, x ray. But, um, right, no, they still have to go to the hospital okay. for those, those major things. But, um, but we're back to the threes. That side, taping, middle treatment, this area, rehab. And so, uh, and three pools yeah. hot tub, treadmill tub, cold tub. So, y'all can go in the, you can go in the pool room. We'll, we'll take a walk through there, right? Thanks. This is, this is far away, the, in my opinion, the biggest upgrade from what they had to, from a functionality standpoint, with that now. So this is 12,237 square feet of strength and conditioning area. Each one of those racks, uh, workout facility there to your left, Brad, each one of those is specially designed, custom designed for Matt Bayless for his exercises. Uh, in our old weight room, they had makeshift things. You see the ropes hanging and punching bags and things like that. Uh, Every one of these was put together specifically for him, for his exercises, and contain everything that they need to, to complete their workouts that, uh, that will be taking place starting in June. Yeah, which is kind of torturous. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, none, none of it looks fun. Uh, you can see on the far wall, in the two corners, there's a roll-up garage door type thing. One of the things that uh, yeah. Matt really wanted uh, in this in this facility was the ability to do multiple exercises, uh, weight with speed. So during the summer, they'll roll up those two doors and do you know a set of things on the turf field and then another set in the weight room and back and forth and it makes it easily interchangeable. Who do you think can bench the most on the team and how much? Um, no looking, no cheating. Nick, Nick James, I don't know. Gabe Jackson, Gabe, Gabe Jackson. Okay, Gabe Jackson. Curtis Verge is 420. Yeah, we don't need to take pictures of the breads. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I can't zoom on this. Swedenberg? Dang. Just saying he's on the wall. So you can also see from here the strength coaches have a Must be heaven for Matt Bayless. Go right over here to the field. These doors he was talking about, they go up. <laughs> 